Horror, thrillers, horror, this film genre causes the most enormous and heated debate among critics. Some say it's art. Others argue that this is not art, but it's cynical profanation. But the viewer says nothing. He just passionately loves horror series, and doesn't feel the need for any commentary. And is it worth delving into art criticism debates, when the goal of such television works is one, to make every person on this side of the screen tremble with fear? Remember how, as a child, you and your friends, having gathered somewhere in the evening, loved to tell terribly terrible stories about the black hand, or about the dead rising in the cemetery? It is from here, from deep childhood, that a person's desire to experience fear of something mysterious, unknown, perhaps even otherworldly, takes its roots. And that is why the best series in the horror genre always enjoy great popularity among viewers, no matter what nightmares or abominations they show. And they really show a lot. As a rule, the directors of such projects do not skimp on blood and murder. There are several traditional plot threads on the basis of which most of these terrible television projects are filmed. The first is Psychopathic Maniacs. The story, in general terms, boils down to the fact that somewhere there lives a certain guy who is obsessed with murder, and the main characters are unlucky enough to end up on his list of future victims. A desperate pursuit begins, as a result of which only one survives among the entire initial crowd of characters, and this is in the best case. The second is the living dead. The undead crawl out onto the sinful earth to sow death among those who are still alive. Such works are distinguished by an abundance of shed blood, vivid scenes of violence and weak plot construction. The third is otherworldly creatures. A certain spirit, or restless ghost, is trying to harm people who had the imprudence to disturb an incorporeal creature, and now these unfortunate people will have to try very hard to cope with someone who cannot be killed or even simply arrested. The fourth is unusual creatures. These could be angels, or demons or giant sharks slash crocodiles, there are many variations. And all these monsters are eager to kill as many people as possible, who will have to fight for their lives, and not always successfully. Today, I present to your attention the new Chinese project Mutations. Not many horror series can boast of a strong script or an intricate plot. However, the genre does not require this at all, since its main task is to scare, and not force you to think or closely follow the tape of developing events. And so what is the drama Mutations about? This is a historical drama that reveals the story of the guard Chu Xijing during the Tianqi period. The plot revolves around the spread of a mysterious disease, causing fear and despair among the people beyond the Liaodong Pass. Chu Xijing, the main character, goes to the epicenter of the events to find out the reasons for the spread of the disease. However, his investigation becomes intertwined with a bitter struggle between the local army and the people. During his journey, Chu Xijing encounters deep conspiracies and unexplained forces that obscure the true nature of events. Want to get a little scared? Give yourself the pleasure of once again plunging into the sweet atmosphere of frightening stories, only this time they will be told to you not by a street friend, but by a Chinese horror drama. Enjoy or not, enjoy watching.